You know what sounds good? Brunch. Today, we're gonna find out if the River and Post restaurant is any good. So my name is James, I'm just a regular guy, and today we had brunch at this nifty little restaurant in the historic part of Jacksonville, Florida called Riverside, River and Post. Uh, they call Jacksonville the River City, I guess because there's a big St. John's River just goes right through it. So the first thing was trying to find the place, right? So it's not really that hard to find. We put it in Google. There's not really a, a sign or anything that says River and Post unless you go on the other side of the building. You know, if you're just kind of showing up, you're not sure where to go, it's a little hard to find. But once you get there, and once you get to the front of the building, it's it's clear as day. And let me just tell you this, there is a rooftop bar, but it's first come first serve. We actually went up there first to try to get a, a seat up there, but it was packed out. So we came back down inside and we got a seat at the bar like pretty quick. They have some communal tables and you can sit at the bar and there's like a couple of booths in there. And if you're early enough, you'll be able to snag one of the booths. So we get inside and take a look around. It looks really cool in there. It's got a really neat vibe. It's really like I don't know, it's it's uh, it's got that historic like vibe to it. So this was a Sunday brunch, but they actually do brunch Saturday and Sunday. So it's from 11 to four, they have their brunch menu, which has a whole bunch of different items on there. We decided to go with the croque madame, which is like a sandwich type of uh, meal. And also there's a brunch burger that looked really interesting. So we decided to get that. But before we got into our food, we had to get a couple of cocktails because it's brunch Sunday. We're just chilling out. So why the heck not? I ended up going with a bulletproof because it looks really interesting and I like whiskey like bourbon type drinks so my drink was really delicious uh, very very smooth uh, had a nice like citrusy like tone undertone to it it had a rye vermouth cognac and it had like a smoked glass in it so it had like the smoked like essence to it which was really neat Jessica ended up with the Mockingbird because she loves tequila drinks and it's tequila Jessica's Mockingbird was basically like tequila and blueberry mash type stuff in it. And then it had like a little blueberry on a skewer on top of it. It had this like blueberry infused salt, I think it was. And our food, man, our food was actually really good. The croque madame, madame, however you want to say it, was amazing. It had this fantastic like sauce on top of it that was like this gruyere, I, how do you say that? Like gruyere cheese, gruyere, gruyere? But they call it the gruyere mornay sauce. That was the star of the dish was the sauce. Jessica's brunch burger was massive. It was a half pound burger. It had an egg, pork belly, it had avocado, it had cheese, it came with a big old pile of delicious french fries. And not only did the food look really amazing, the flavors, and the like the finish like this was really good this is probably one of my favorite restaurants i've been to and we just kind of went there on a whim i didn't know anything about it but i think a lot of people know about it because it's very busy and it is in a very like yeah like trendy part of town so a lot of the cool kids go there which we are not cool kids we're just regular regular people i want to go back and try more of their drinks and try more of their food maybe try the non-brunch menu and maybe even try to get up top on the rooftop bar because there's some amazing views over the river river and post Highly recommended from James and Jessica. We're just, like I said, we're just regular people. Just enjoying like, you know, regular life. There was nothing regular about that brunch. That was extraordinary. Hey, if you liked it, let us know. Give us the old thumbs up. Maybe hit subscribe and you'll see some more food type, food type, food type videos out there in the wild, wherever we are. Uh, maybe we'll see you in that next one. Maybe we'll see you out there in a restaurant and you can tell us how you liked your meal. But until then, see ya.